head coach of the Muscle and Appleman, Brian Thomas. And uh, Coach Thomas, for you, is an overtime win for your team on Friday against Loudoun Valley. What'd you like from your team? Uh, yeah, just you know our our fight, our determination. Um, you know, just the uh, the kids not to, not to give up. It was a really it was kind of a roller coaster game. It was a lot of back and forth um, between us and them. They got up, we got up. You know, just just a, it was just a, it was one of those games really that could have gone either way. So you know, just really proud of our kids for for their hard work and their determination through it. Coach Thomas, you've now had in week one kind of a more offensive shootout type game, and here in week two more of a defensive battle. Your team comes out in both of them. Just kind of what does that say about your team so far? Well, hopefully we can put them both together. If we put them both together, then, uh, you know, I think we'll be pretty good. But um, in all seriousness, you know, I'm, I'm. it makes you excited just because it doesn't really make you, um, I don't know what word I'm looking for, a one-trick pony or one-dimensional. It kind of gives you the ability where, you know, we've shown defensively we can get it done. Uh, we did that against Loudoun Valley. And then, you know, we've shown offensively we can get it done when we have to score quick against Hanley. So, you know, hopefully just the confidence on both sides of the ball that we do have that ability. But, you know, like I said earlier, I, I do hope we can put it all together and play more of a complete game offensively and defensively together. Coach, another uh, close game and, and a close win for your team. What do you think that does for your team as you get into the later part of the season? I'm surprised. Do you guys have, like, a nickname for us yet? Like, you know, you, you think, you like, we got we got to have some kind of nickname. You know, last year we played all those tight one-score ball games, and we won, I think we won all the all of our one-score games, and we played a lot of them last year. Now this year, again, you know, we, we had a 10-point game and then an overtime seven-point game. Um there's got to be a nickname for us. That, that's I'm giving you guys that job. Come up with like some we'll work on that. cool, cool nickname. Yeah, that's, I said on the show today that you don't lose close games. So well, and, uh, that's you know, all I had. You just jinxed us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it says a lot for the kids, and we, we talk to our kids about that. We talk to the kids just about the fact that you know they're, they're in the world we live in. When something doesn't go somebody's way, the first thing to do about it is pout. Um, and, and to complain and, you know, to be negative about the situation. And, you know, we, we tell our kids, you know, when, when things are tough and, and when those times are hitting you where, you know, you do, you do have some kind of difficult or you do have a little bit of adversity, you know, try to be different from everybody else. And instead of being down and negative about it, um, just, you know, be tougher and get through it and, and conquer it. So, you know, I think it says a lot about our kids that they're able to do that. They're able to, they're able to stay focused. Uh, they're able to keep their, their heads on and they're able to be smart. And, uh, you know, always, you know, we tell the kids always play to the end because you never know what will happen. And coach, last week we talked about the depth at your skill position. Uh, through two weeks, if I would have told you sophomore Blake Sanders had 34 carries over 200 yards and three touchdowns as a guy that was going to, as just a sophomore what would you say to that um i mean i'll be honest with you i'm not overly surprised uh you know i i I knew Blake was a good player. Uh, you know, he. I watched him play in, in uh, youth league growing up. I watched him play freshman football with us last year in our program, and I knew he was a really good player. Um, you know, I, I don't know if maybe I knew he was going to come on this quick and excel this quick at the varsity level, but you know, he. He just. A, he's. A, he's a really hardworking kid. You can see in the weight room. You can see it when we work out. Uh, he's a really determined kid and a hardworking kid. So whenever you. You know, whenever you have a kid that. Uh, does those things and then you you add in the talent level with that because Blake's an athletic kid you know when you put all those factors together um, that usually leads to, to to a little bit of success so um, you know he's a uh, he's kind of turned into our workhorse and uh, you know he's a really good player and, and like you said he's a sophomore so you know the, the best part about all of it is uh, you know after you know we got him for the rest of this season um, and then you know two more years after this so uh, really excited about that. Coach Thomas a new test this week you guys get to go on the road against Morgantown another very good team from the Mountain State a team that you guys are familiar with as well what are you looking forward to this game on the road this Friday yeah Morgan Morgantown's a really good team um and, and we were talking the other day in our staff meeting probably um in my years in my 11 years as head coach they've probably been our biggest I, I don't know if I want to say rival um 
you know, probably the or the best games that we have played with a program uh, have probably been Morgantown. We've had a lot of really good games over the past decade um, going against them, uh, and you know they're a really good team though. Uh, they're really well coached. You know, got a got a ton of big linemen, got a really bunch of really good athletes. Um, we were able to knock them off here last year, so I'm sure they've had our game circled a little bit on the calendar. So it's going to be a really big test for us, you know, going and playing a team that good and being on the road. Do you think uh, getting a chance to play a, a team in the state that is known as a premier program will do anything for your program in terms of I guess getting some recognition? Well, I mean, hopefully it did. Hopefully it did last year. I mean, last year they came in here uh, we played them later in the season when the SSAC rankings were already out, and I believe they were number two at the time that they came in last year. So, what I don't, I don't know whether we win or whether we lose. I mean, we, we've uh, you know I, I feel like we've played them played them tough in the past. So hopefully we have the recognition in the in the past that people think you know we're on that level. But you know for some reason people doubt us all the time. You know, and, and I, I think I don't know what you guys have projected at, but I saw a lot of. I heard a lot of things and, and saw a lot of things. We were we were projected to, to win four games this year, so you know, hopefully we can just we just keep coming out, trying to earn respect, trying to get better, um, trying to do what we can do uh, to get better. And you know, this is kind of the next test in our way. So you know, we obviously we, we want to win the game. Um, you know, we'd love to go three and zero, but worst case scenario, we go two and one. We're still gonna, we're still gonna keep fighting. We're still gonna keep calling. We're still gonna keep scratching. So uh, it is gonna be a good test for us, and, and you know, we got to be prepared to play. And, and if we are, um, you know, I like our football team. Still early on in the week, but what stood out to you so far about Morgantown on film? Um, just, just their their physicality, and we some from playing them last year and playing them in the past. They're very physical. Um, coach Bowser does a really good job. You know, he, he's a really good uh, coach, and he's a really good teacher of the run game. So they're going to run at you. Uh, they're going to try to control the line of scrimmage. They're going to try to come at you and then punch you right in the mouth, which, you know, we like to do some of the same things. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to match their physicality. If we don't match their physicality, uh, it could be a long night for us. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. We'll talk to you next week. Best of luck. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.